Hello, my fellow limitless, flawless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? It is very early morning. I am literally in my pajamas. And yes, it's a Disney Halloween t-shirt because I'm a Halloween bitch year-round. Um, I wanted to make a quick video. I know the ankle sucks, but this is very impromptu, unplanned, no makeup. Literally woke up probably like 15 minutes ago. Got a comment. I thought, you know what? This wasn't my planned video for today. I already had something recorded and uploaded. Just haven't made it live yet. But this comment just stuck out to me. And it, it is something I've been asked before, but I think it's important. Let me see if this guy can make this any better. Um, what hinders a manifestation? So if you would like to know what hinders or keeps a manifestation from you, please, please continue to watch, okay? So let's jump in with some basic bitch. If you need help figuring out what's going on between a you and your manifestation, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the drop box below. They're in the screens that just went by. I have two channel memberships. I go live with my channel members every single week. I have the exclusive lives group. We go live on Tuesdays at 9.30 p.m.-ish Eastern Standard Time. That is a judge only group. We do not talk about circumstances. We talk about success stories and tips and tricks. I also have the hot seat coaching group. That is where I go live with them every Friday morning about 9 a.m. ish Eastern Standard Time. That's the group where you can ask me anything you want about your circumstances. Uh, you get your ass into that hot seat and it's like from a 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how long the session is going to be. Um, most of my live stream sessions are well over an hour. Um, and if you join the hot seat group, you have access to both groups. I have TikTok, I have Instagram, I have Clapper. If you are new here, hi, I'm Kimberly. And yes, I'm like this all the time. I would love for you to subscribe to me and come back and see me. I am obsessed with manifestation, obsessed with it. It is on my mind 24 seven. We are doing it 24 seven. And why not start doing it to your damn benefit? Hmm? Why not start doing that? So I would appreciate if you would give me a like for this video so we can get out to anybody else out there who needs to learn that they are creating their reality or manifesting or choosing their reality. So, like I said, I just woke up. So that's why I look like this, okay? If any of you say, well, bitch, you look like that all the time, go slap you. Okay? All right, let's jump in. So what hinders a manifestation? Now, this, this question was pretty specific. This person seemed a little frustrated, not frustrated at me, just this person was just genuinely asking me. And this person said something, well, typed something that was very, oh, I resonated with it instantly because it is how I used to feel. So I'm sure some of you still feel this way, that, you know, you hear from all different coaches, you know, what's keeping your manifestation away from you? What is keeping it away? And for some of us, when, especially when we're not understanding necessarily that you are choosing to be a specific version of yourself every single second, literally every thought, until that is fully grasped and applied in your day-to-day -day life, it can feel like you are on constant eggshells. Like, oh my God, here's a negative thought. There I go. Ruining my manifestation again, Right. Because we hear all the different reasons as to what can hinder a manifestation, such as, um, and this person wrote this, like they hear from all different coaches, like shitty self-concept or, you know, shitty thoughts, you know, being negative, all the things, reacting, responding to your 3D. You know, when you're reacting and responding, you're, you're doing that from old version of self and all blah, blah, blah. That can be so overwhelming. And when you hear all the time that it's because you suck as a person. That's why you're not getting your manifestation. That can be so overwhelming, frustrating. And I know just from interacting with a large group of people that some people give up at that point. They give up because they feel like they, they can't even make a move or boom, manifestation over. And I want this video to be the video you come to when you need a judge when you're when you're thinking those kind of thoughts. This is the law of assumption. And that means whatever you, you the individual, 
believe to be true, it will be true for you. So I myself at one time on my journey felt the same way that I was on constant eggshells and honestly that I was a failure because I would find myself frustrated, angry, you know, upset with my 3D because it didn't appear like I was getting what I wanted. And then I would go through the cycle of beating myself up because I couldn't hold my positive mindset and I was getting frustrated with my 3D. So it felt like a constant cycle. And that's how I saw it too, that I was on a constant cycle. So what I believed to be true became true for me. So I kept experiencing things that kept me on the cycle, that made me feel like I had to be on eggshells. And, you know, I cannot stress this enough. I know some of you are just finding manifestation. I know you're just finding it. So you're, you're taking in as much information as you can to learn. And I get that. But if, if you could only know one thing, in my opinion, it would be you yourself are truly creating or in deciding what manifestation rules apply to you. In other words, there really aren't any solid, specific rules. You're making them. You get to decide that. So because another coach says, well, it's shitty self-concept, that's why you're not getting what you want. You know, you have a shitty self-concept. Now, in the coach's defense, most of the time, we're just trying to answer questions that come at us. But unless we've had a sincere one-to-one -one conversation with you, we don't know every single belief you may or may not have. And we're not fully sure of who you are deciding to be without having a conversation with you, right? So a lot of times, coaches are answering, answering questions from a generalized audience place. And that in itself is another reason why you want to make your own damn rules. You want to think and decide for yourself because videos are geared for a mass audience, okay? So what have I learned on my journey? I, I learned maybe the hard way because it took me a while to get to this place of I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care what any other coach says on how to manifest. I don't care. If it doesn't resonate with me, if it feels too restrictive, that is not going to apply in my world. And you and I are that powerful to have that mindset and make it be true for ourselves. So when you are finding that you, you can't do anything right or you're just doing every single thing wrong and, you know, on top of it, you're not seeing evidence in your 3D that this is working. This is what I want you to say to yourself. I am the God or the, you know, higher power source energy. I am that. I am that. That is what I am made of. And by the way, if you're new to this, if saying I am God is uncomfortable for you, that's okay. Just know that who you really are at your core is what God is made of. We are all God having an individualized experience. But if you don't believe in God, insert the word you do, universe, higher power, source, energy, fucking moon beams, whatever. That's what you're made of. And that's why you're manifesting. That's how you have the power to manifest because of who you truly are at your core. So if you're that, why not start deciding that you can't mess this up? You do everything right. You're always making all the right decisions. It's okay that you reacted to your 3D. It's okay. It's okay because it is okay. It is okay. But you have to decide that for yourself. You have to make that a rule for yourself. In other words, when you start telling yourself that I'm making all the right decisions, I do everything right, I can't mess this up, I am who I say I am, and why am I wording it like as in I am who I say I am? Because at every given second, like I said earlier, you are choosing who you are. You are choosing what reality you are in. So if you are not enjoying your current reality, then understand that you have the power to move your ass to a different reality, despite if a coach said to you, you have a shitty self-concept, despite that, you have that power. So who do you want to be? 
what do you want your 3D to look like? And whatever your answers are to those two questions, begin right now to start telling yourself that that's who you are now, despite what you're actually seeing in the physical 3D. The only thing that can ever sincerely, truly hinder a manifestation is if you are deciding that you are hindering your manifestation or if you are deciding you are someone that is struggling to manifest your manifestation or that you are not getting what you want. That is it. All the other answers that come in this community. And, and like I said, it's not the coach being malicious per se. It's more of a lack of better describing what's really going on within our mind. Throw the phrase self-concept out the window. Throw the phrase thoughts out of the window. Throw it all out. And instead, Let's lighten the mood a little bit. Let's lighten it. Meaning, take the pressure off of being this, having to be a perfect version of yourself. Throw it out the window. Instead, look at it as, I always get to choose who I want to be. I'm always choosing. I'm choosing by what thoughts I'm choosing to listen to. I'm choosing by what I'm deciding is true for myself. And I don't mean 3D reality true. I mean what you want to be true for you. So if you're seeing your 3D as it is people doing things to me, or it is experiences doing things to me, you know, you know you're unlucky, things just don't work out for you, blah, blah, blah. We got to change that thinking. You wanted to start... You want to start deciding to be the you that is lucky, that does get what he or she wants. That's who you are now. Decide that now. I can't mess this up. I make all the right decisions. It's okay if I reacted to such and such circumstance. It's okay. No big deal. If it's really bothering me, I can revise. There you go. I'm now on the timeline where that didn't happen. I revised it. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I don't have to relate to it anymore. I don't have to be connected to it anymore. Because I say so. Because I say so. And that's the only reason you need. Because I say so. It is that simple. It is enough. So the only thing that can hinder or get in the way of your manifestation is your decision in who you are being. That is it. So I think when we spend too much time trying to figure out what shitty beliefs do I have? What am I doing wrong still? I think that is a waste of time. Instead, let's just decide that things do work out for us now. Things do work out for us now. We do get what we want. We are the version of ourselves that is having the experience of the most amazing love relationship of my life. I am the version of myself experiencing an, an overabundance of money coming at me. Money is coming to me from everywhere. I can't believe how much money I have. I'm literally a multimillionaire. My life is changing so much every single day. I love every second of it. And I still get to be a human being and still get to have whatever I want. I, it's okay if I have a bad day. It's okay. It's okay that I've reacted or I've responded because I'm choosing to be the me that gets what he or she wants. That's who I am now. I am that self. I don't have a negative self-concept or a shitty self-concept. I have an amazing self-concept. That's who I am now. That's who I, that's who I have ever been. And when shitty negative thoughts come up, I don't have to be afraid of them anymore because my shitty fearful thoughts, they don't manifest. 
because that's who I am. That's who I've chosen to be. You see, every possible version of you exists. Exists. And it exists through states of consciousness, which is another way of kind of saying like in other realities. And you, with your decision of, yes, this is who I am thinking, you choose which reality you're in or you choose which version of self you are. And you have, you have the power to just flippantly decide. And it's the repetition of you making that decision that makes this feel more natural. But guess what? You don't even have to wait until it feels natural. When you make the decision, it's instant. You're instantly in that reality or on that timeline. Instantly, instantly you were that self. Where people get this messed up is they think logically. Okay, it's instant. Then why isn't my full manifestation right in front of me, Kim? Why isn't it? Hurry up. Because you're now back in the reality where you don't think this is working or you don't think the change is instant. You don't think you're in the reality where your manifestation is unfolding right in front of you. You don't think that. So you went back to the reality where it's not working. It is that instant. And had you just allowed that to be true for you, things would have unfolded. The other little nugget is logic and literal thinking isn't necessarily our best friend. Because when we look at the 3D and circumstances don't make sense to us or circumstances look to us like I am not having that experience. It doesn't look like you're having your manifestation because that whatever circumstances in the 3D doesn't make sense, doesn't seem to line up with you getting what you want. People usually give up at that point because logically the 3D doesn't look the way they want it to. But that's the beauty of what we're doing is it doesn't have to make sense to you. You don't know what your bridge of incidents is going to look like. You have no idea what the bridge of incidents or the unfolding of your manifestation looks like. You don't. Logically and literally, you have a preconceived notion as to what it should look like. But you don't know what it is supposed to look like. So how can you logically, literally decide that a circumstance isn't or couldn't possibly be on the bridge of incidents of you getting what you want. You, you can't make that decision because you don't know. That's no different than, let's say, I am sitting back and eating, eating some spaghetti with some fabulous sauce. And that's me arguing with the person that made the sauce and me arguing and telling them that they didn't use the ingredients that they actually did use. That's me telling them, no, you, you couldn't possibly have put garlic in this tomato sauce. You, no, not possible. You couldn't have. This, no, that makes no sense to me. Yes, this tomato sauce tastes uh, uh, beautiful. And I didn't watch you make the tomato sauce. So I didn't see you put any of the ingredients in. But I'm deciding you didn't put garlic in there. There's no possible way. Nope. Nope. That's not a part of that tomato sauce. No way. Mm -mm. If I wasn't there to watch them make the tomato sauce from scratch, if I wasn't there watching it myself, if I have no knowledge on how to make homemade tomato sauce, and I don't, that's why I use this analogy, how am I telling the person that made it that they didn't use garlic? Do you see how that makes no sense? So if you don't know how a manifestation should unfold or what it should look like, 
how in the hell are you making the decision that it's not working? Or this particular circumstance that we don't like is not a part of your unfolding. How can we decide that if we have no knowledge of what the bridge of incidents or that homemade tomato sauce looks like? And using the same tomato sauce analogy, not everyone makes homemade scratch tomato sauce the same exact way. Just like not everyone's bridge of incidents is going to look the same way because we are individuals. So one bitch could have used garlic in her tomato sauce. And one bitch could have not. But because I didn't watch either one make it, I have no knowledge of how they made their sauce. You were never invited to how something unfolds. So how are you therefore deciding what circumstance is on the bridge and what one isn't? Every given second, every given experience is part, is a part of the unfolding. Every circumstance, everything. Because everything is orchestrated. Everyone is in this orchestration of bringing about your manifestation. I know that's really big thinking. But I used an example once, and of course I can't think of the exact example, but let me use let me use something from one of my channel memberships. Okay. So in my channel membership, I have said countless times that even if you don't get into the hot seat, maybe it's not your turn to get into the hot seat, come to the group live session anyway, because there's a, there's a really good chance, as in everyone is going to push out, as in things are reflected to you in your reality. Someone will get into that hot seat and ask a question that you either specifically wanted or where that question leads still answers the questions you had. That happens all the time. So you see the orchestration of the person that got in the hot seat had to have an experience that led them to join the hot seat group to therefore be inspired to raise their hand to get into the hot seat. And I had to be inspired to create the hot seat group, to therefore decide that the hot seat group would be strict on who gets their turn in the hot seat, to therefore decide to show up that day for the hot seat and then select that person who had raised their hand to get them in the hot seat to get them to ask me the question that therefore led me or inspired me to take that question and answer it and then spill it over into another direction, which therefore answered the other person's question. Do you see what I'm saying? We're all intermingling. It's all orchestrated. The moment you choose your desire, that orchestration is like poof, instant. It may not appear instant in your 3D, but it is. So when Neville says everyone will play their part in order to bring your manifestation, that is what's going to happen. So hindering your manifestation is because you think something can hinder your manifestation. Hence why I suggest making the decision that you do everything right. You make all the right decisions. You can't mess this up and you always get what you want and you are that person now. It, it will bring you your outcome. You will have your manifestation even if your 3D looks nothing like it. So throw out all the rules and decide you are the you that is having the manifestation and you will. You will. Okay, so I hope that answers your question of what can honestly hinder a manifestation. And, you know, hopefully I have uh, made you feel a little more safe and secure that you don't got to be on eggshells. You don't have to be. I'm not on eggshells. I do whatever I want because I have a belief that I get whatever I want. And I do. So can you. 
So on that note, I'll see you tomorrow.